What's up everyone and welcome to Monday's edition of Reptile News. Now we're going to start off in Vermont where police apparently found somebody's pet boa constrictor. They're assuming it's a pet boa constrictor which either escaped or got released into the wild because boas are not native to Vermont. Apparently someone called police around 1.30 p.m. saying that they saw this snake crossing an access road and uh, yeah boa in Vermont. Who'd have thunk? But one of the most amazing things about this story is according to the original article, um, Vermont Fish and Wildlife officials apparently gave police instructions on how to care for the animal while it was waiting to be transferred to a rehabilitation facility. Now I'm not 100% sure why it needs rehabilitation, but the fact that they're even putting forth an effort makes me really happy. And now we're going to move on to Chicago where apparently Lincoln Park Zoo has released some smooth green snakes out in the wild in northern Illinois. Now apparently Apparently these snakes have suffered greatly over the years due to habitat loss and the zoo decided to take part in a head start program where they've released eight snakes just most recently in McHenry County. Now if you're unaware what a head start program is I believe they're still doing it up north in Oregon with the western pond turtles and basically what they're doing up there I'm, I, I'm not sure if it's different I think they're actually breeding these snakes in the zoo raising them up and releasing them whereas out in Oregon they set up these little like traps where the western pond turtle they the eggs lay they collect them they I'm not a hundred percent sure if they hatch the eggs if they collect the eggs and hatch them or set up some kind of screen around them so they can collect the babies when they hatch but either way they take them out of the wild and they raise them up they give them a head start that's basically what a head start program is and it kind of does away with a lot of the predation that they would see as babies out in the wild and gives them a better chance of survival and helps the species out as a whole and we're going to finish off today in Texas talking about a story we talked about Friday and that was the man killed by what they believe was his pet cobra. Apparently, I mean good, the cobra was found. Unfortunately, it was dead. It was reported to be found on a service road, what believed to have been run over by a car. And of course, also as of this recording, autopsy and toxicology reports have not been released yet. I'm, I'm really, really interested to keep up with this to see if the snake is what actually killed him. But anyway, the good news is the snake was found unfortunately it was found dead but it was found and I haven't seen a big uproar from the likes of the Humane Society or anything about it yet and I'm just kind of keeping my fingers crossed that that's not going to happen maybe it'll just fly under the radar and that my friends has been all your news for this Monday if you'd like to read any more about these stories that links right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other and we'll see you Wednesday